and here we have another building down in Corporation Street which is of interest. It's uh, the splendor, it's the splendid and magnificent uh, Belfast Harbour offices um, built way way back and uh, a sandstone again um, and quite opulent inside so I'm told I haven't been inside but uh, pretty pretty good uh, Belfast Harbour Commissioner's uh, place of residence um, we're trying to get the best angle here for for trying to take the whole thing in but uh, it's defeating me. Right, let's go over across the road and have a quick quick look. This building uh, was built in uh, 1857 apparently. Let's go round to the notice board and see what it says. It obviously would have been around at the time of the, uh, the demise of the uh, Titanic. Uh, and there's the back of it. Uh, for 150 years the Harbour Office has been the headquarters of the Belfast Harbour Commission's Commissioners, the body responsible for the operation of the Port of Belfast. The site of the harbour office was originally a shipyard, blah blah blah. The building was erected in three sections over 120 years. The first section now forms blah blah blah. It was built at a cost of £8,295. It had opened in 1857 and incorporates a conspicuous clock tower that was used to regulate the punctual sailing of passenger steamers. Uh, it's a later, has a later extension in Italian Palazzo, la Palazzo set style, designed by uh, architect William Henry Lynn. There you go. Spacious elegance of the harbour office gives tangible expression to the confidence of this Victorian period. And if you want to read any more, and uh, they're talking about the stained glass windows and all the rest of it. There you go. Belfast Harbour Office. Uh, dating from, or predating, the Titanic.